Hi guys, it's Robin. I figured out how to make movies and to put uh, little videos together. So I'm going to try to make the green chutney video for you. I uh, ended up with COVID during it and I got really sick and I'm surprised it turned out. I still have yet to figure out what I'm going to cook with it. it. It's a very interesting taste with the green tomatoes and everything in it. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to try it with some game meat, maybe some deer or something like that. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try to splice together that video. I was so sick. It's It was a mess. So, uh, yeah, this might be the green chutney video. Hi, guys. I was sick over the weekend, had the flu, didn't get the pumpkin until the rutabagas done. Um, I'm working on green tomato chutney right now. We'll keep you posted. Got the tomatoes cut up. Now I just added the onions and I'm going to add the spices in a second. Okay, I was not going to record today, guys, because I've been sick over the weekend. But I uh, decided I needed to finish up these green tomatoes. I'm going off of a recipe, but I'm sort of winging it. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. It has the green tomato. I'm making green tomato chutney. Uh... I got the green tomatoes, I got the red onions, I need a cup of raisins, which I do not have, so I am going to use sweet cherries that I got, uh, and since I doubled it, that is some damson plums that I had gotten, about a cup of those, let's see, what else does it say we need, three garlic cloves, alright, let's see here, Okay, stupid phone died on me. Learned my lesson on that one. Um, I ended up adding uh, five cups of brown sugar. I did not have malt vinegar. I had malt vinegar powder. So I put, oh God, probably two big teeping tablespoons of that in. Uh, I did add two, four, six cups of water. Or no, I'm sorry, only four cups of water. There's that. That, that, sea salt, black pepper, raisins. Yeah, and that's it. So let's let her cook down. We'll see what happens. Hi, guys, me again. I am going to use up the smallest parts of the uh, green tomatoes that I got here. So, I am mixing up a brine. I've got uh, one and a half cups apple cider vinegar, one and a half cups water, and one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt in there. Now, the recipe says to put in a teaspoon of yellow mustard seeds. Uh, let me see, I can smell my teaspoon. I'm going to say it right now. Hello, my name is Robin. I am an alcoholic. I am also a spice addict. So instead of yellow, I'm going to use black. So let's give this a shot. So teaspoon of black uh, mustard seeds in each one. Then we need a teaspoon of celery seed. So let's do that. Teaspoon of each of those. There it goes. Coriander, it is telling me a teaspoon of coriander also. Whoop, hey, there they go. Get them all over. There it goes. Got the coriander. Now, what do we got? All right, it says, it ha it says a half of a teaspoon of black peppercorns, but I got these new peppercorns that I want to try. They're long pepper. So, I think I'm just going to put, like, one of each of those in. Well, that one's sort of small, so there's that. Okay, they're in, and then it says a half a teaspoon of whole allspice. So, let's do this. Alrighty. I don't know how you're supposed to do that when they're, like, this big, but all right. I'm putting in a whole teaspoon because I like allspice. Now, we are supposed to fill up the jars. 
Uh, it also says that you can water bath can these for, oh, there goes one on the floor, 15 minutes, but I think I am just going to do refrigerator pickles with them and just put them in the back of the refrigerator, because with only having the two of them, I'm not going to get the water bath canner going and all that stuff. We'll uh, just put them in the back. Got enough room for right now, at least till Thanksgiving, then we'll have to worry about it. Get them all in there since we don't need any head space for the... Okay, there we go. Our brine is good. Top them off just like that. Oh, I was off by about a cup. Oh, well. Anyway... I am now going to put the lids on them, and since it is just going to be in the back of my refrigerator, I am not worried about wiping the rims and all that neat stuff. Then I'm going to give them a good shake, and we'll see how they turn out. Alright guys, I'm going through with my potato masher, and I'm loosening it up here. It has such a weird taste. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with it later. But she's done cooking down. I am going to get it heated all the way back up now. And then I'm going to water bath can it for 15 minutes and she'll be good to go. Hi guys, I was sick over the weekend, had the flu, didn't get the pumpkin until the rutabag is done. Um, I'm working on green tomato chutney right now, we'll keep you posted. Got the tomatoes cut up, now I just added the onions and I'm going to add the spices and a 